Welcome to the Divorce Bob Podcast. Grab your AirPods or earphones. You never know what's going to come out of my mouth. But please, enjoy the show. What's the deli deli? What's going on? Hello to any and all listeners. Uh, we're getting close to Christmas time, so I figured we'd kind of talk about Christmas shopping, kids, relationship stuff, gifts for your man or woman. So, number one rule here is uh, if you need a new can opener in the house... Just buy one. Don't buy it as a gift. Same with a vacuum or pots and pans. <laughs> Any household stuff or tools. Well, tools maybe for the guys. We don't care as long as we get the tool. But my question this year is what is everybody going to buy everybody? I see so many people on social media giving away or selling like their stuff, clothes that don't fit, things they don't use anymore. And that was like a, this has been a number one rule in my life for like many, many years. If I pack something away for three months and I don't need it, use it, or use it once a year, if I haven't used it in three months, I ain't going to need it in three years. So give that shit away, sell it at a yard sale, whatever your thing is. I really don't find uh, yard sailing for me to be profitable, to stand around for four or five hours and everybody ask you to take $5 less than what you're asking to me is not uh, profitable. So I'd rather give it to somebody in need who doesn't have as much or isn't as well off or starting over you never know i started over a couple times went plenty of places and bought some stuff that was probably worthless to somebody but it got me by for quite a while so you can make somebody's life a little bit different just by a simple gift or gesture or giveaway or whatnot Uh, i mean i know they got these toys for tots right now this time of year and I don't know if there's a rule because of the Rona and all that crap. If it's got to be brand new or in a box or if it's got to be given and then they got to wipe it down, I don't know. But, I mean, I think it's fair if you want to give something away, you know, one of your kids had and it's a stuffed animal or something, as long as your dog didn't pee on it, I would think, you know, they could throw it in the washing machine and we're good. Spray it, spray it down with some Lysol, you know, cover it, we're good. Um, what do your kids want this year? I mean, good gracious, everything is downloaded, digital, Fortnite, gaming, Robux, Minecraft. I mean, what do you get, kids? I mean, don't don't get them clothes. That'll piss them off. <laughs> I hated that shit when I was a kid. Oh, here you go, Bobby. Here's a pair of socks. Buy a bag of socks. Oh, yay. Thanks, Grandma. That sucked. Well, it's okay, well, you know, now you're older, you're like, you know, it's great. I needed it, but, you know, well, you don't consider it a Christmas gift when you're a kid. That sucks when you're a kid. God rest our grandmother's souls, the ones that have passed. But same with your wife or husband. I mean, I don't know. Don't don't be buying, like, uh, blenders or, you know, a coup rig or something that you're, like, pointing out that you want him or her to make for you every day or that you're going to use on a daily basis. It's kind of not a gift, in my opinion, but that's just me. There ain't nothing I want this year. I just did a couple things. I'm doing a couple things to my house, and a couple things are better off than I thought. So, I'm good. Give me a new uh, curtain or something, or blinds, or a pillow for the couch. I'm good. That's all I need. A new new thing for the grill, you know, the little aluminum things there, the little deflector shields, whatever you want to call them. Throw one of them new on there. I'm good. But clothes, no thanks. Coffee cups and all that, nah, I make those. You guys want to buy any, let me know. I can make one for you. We're, uh, I'm flipping through my book here for ideas and whatnot. I've been writing stuff down for podcasts. So I'm wondering how many of you out there are single this year for the holiday season. I've got people asking me, how do you live with, how do you sleep with yourself, you know, during the holidays? Ah, because I'm not a hoe. That's how I sleep with myself. I, I don't need anybody to define me. I don't need anybody to be laying next to me to make my life purpose, uh, to want to get up in the morning. I got plenty of shit to live for. I don't need somebody laying next to me to, I don't know, make that more difficult or better, whatever you want to say, have it. That can go two ways, but I don't know. This has got to be a challenging year for everybody. I mean, it's just mind blowing with, like I say, the pandemic, what's going on? Kids at home, parents working from home, kids by my son's school, just I think has three or four kids that supposedly caught the Rona, so there's no school this week. They're only a couple days a week, though, so, but he's, they're remote to a degree, like most schools, but, you know, all the kids aren't susceptible to get it. Well, who the hell knows with all this, and I don't like talking politics, so 
we'll just jump on over that bandwagon. So I wonder how many people are getting kids gifts that aren't clothes and aren't, you know, to do with gaming and whatnot. You know, who, who when's the last time you saw somebody buys their kids something like a board game or something to do out in the yard? I mean, heaven forbid we can't have lawn darts anymore. Everybody kill themselves with freaking throwing them, you know, and be lawsuits or something. We, we grew up in one hell of a world, that's for sure. And we're all still here. But I don't know. What are you guys doing for food? That's, a, that's another thing. My son can't bring anything to school for food because of the corona. Can't bring in baked goods. I bought some uh, candy canes. And then, you know, they're in a box. They're in a plastic little wrapper individually. Nope, can't bring nothing. So I'm, I'm breaking stuff, baking stuff to bring to work some... Uh, I got some muffins and some cookies that maybe we're going to make. I'm going to make. Ha ha. Just to kind of lift up spirits. I mean, three of us at my job are single. So that's always interesting. There's only one married guy so far. Actually, you know what? There's four of us that are single. And the one married guy. There's only a few of us. Oh, wait. And the other guy's got a girlfriend. I forgot about him. But, uh, yeah. So everybody's just kind of, we're all cooking these little solo plates. <laughs> We go home for dinner and for holidays. Well, I got my boy for Christmas this year. I get him in the afternoon, so we'll have to, I'll get some grub. We had a good Thanksgiving, cook some turkey, stuffing. Not that he really liked much of it other than the turkey. And what else did I make him? He didn't like the cranberry. He didn't like doesn't like stuffing. I for, didn't cook corn because I didn't even think about it. I don't know. Being the middle person with corn is kind of like useless to cook it. You know, you you eat it, you chew the hell out of it, and you sit on a toilet and you look down and you go, who the hell put all that shit back together when it comes out? It's like it never freaking changed. It's like you never chewed it. But, hey, yeah, I know. That's kind of gross, right? But, like they say, you're just the middle person when you eat corn. I'm a firm believer in it. Unless it's corn on the cob and sweet corn with some butter. Yep. I'll pass otherwise. But, other than that. I don't know. Who's working from home through the holidays? Who's got time off? Who's going? Is anybody going away? Is anybody going camping? Is anybody going to see their families? Everybody just staying home? You having family over? You having family bring their campers to your house? <laughs> you keep your distance? I mean, what the hell do you do? I don't know. This is crazy. My parents aren't in this state, so I'm just my boy and I and do our thing for Christmas, I guess, and watch TV and play whatever we got a volleyball net we've actually got an outdoor uh ping pong table that i've had which i need to order parts i bought some parts to fix it just haven't done it some doctor had it his kids bought it with his he said his credit card reward points i'm like yeah must be nice you're making five hundred thousand dollars a year anyway what in the world you care about an outdoor ping pong table and your credit card reward points it's nothing to him but it's in good shape got to get it back together and find a little level spot in the yard and we can go play that once in a while thankfully i'm in north carolina so it's not brutally ass cold here in the winter time it's you know 20s 30s overnight and then we get 50s and 60s during the days which thank goodness i don't want to deal with that snow shit no more you all want a white christmas you can keep it you just send me pictures and videos and put it on facebook and i'll enjoy watching it trust me as long as it's not here it snows here and everybody's whoa we gotta buy all the milk and the bread and Everybody goes off the road. When it rains here, shit, people can't drive. Last week I passed, there was three or four cars involved in an accident. There was somebody up on the freaking Jersey barrier. There are two right passenger tires. We're halfway up that damn thing. How the hell did you end up up there? But, hey, they managed to do it. And then all the rubberneckers got to go by, driving by 10 miles an hour, watching, cause the traffic to slow down in the other lane, ready to cause another accident. But that's North Carolina for you. Anyway, so wondering how many of you how many of you that's another good thing about wonder i'm wondering how many of you are now remotely working from home indefinitely i've got one friend that his whole company is going to get out of the building they're in get a smaller building and have everybody start working from home from now on and they're going to like consolidate half their space for re or uh, commercial because they can have people work from re remote at home i mean it, it's insane I'm so glad I didn't get a brick and mortar store for my business as either one of them. I wanted to for one, and I was going to start sheltering the other one and part of it, and I am so glad I didn't because I would have lost my ass. I know a lot of people who have already closed their doors, went out of business. Some are coming back, some are not. I mean, uh, there's there's a deli or a restaurant not far from here from where I live, and it's from what I know, it's been there a long time, and they just couldn't struggle. They couldn't handle the struggle, and they're gone. 
and they had some good food from what I'm told I never got the chance to try it out but that sucks I mean you think all right well that's one business down well that's uh, how many families are losing a job and you know income that sucks so I think we're going to go through a big ass transition here I've said it before I'll say it again I think everybody should just keep an eye on what's going on with everything and just kind of find median ways to make different income find ways to design stuff there's so many platforms out there that we can sell on right now it's insane you've got etsy there, there's two or three others off the top of my head that i've heard about where you just become a creator and you put your shit up there and you don't even have to make it you just like create stuff and you you mingle with another site where they can help work with you and they print it and then they ship it and all this good stuff i mean good gracious there's so many ways to make income right now. It's 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 crazy, but you got to be creative and you can't be lazy. You've got to be repetitive. You got to be at it every day. I know everybody's. Oh, I don't have the time for that. Well, we all have time to go on Facebook and complain for five or ten minutes whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, or post some bullshit or stupid memes. I'm I'm the guilty number one person of that because I'm throwing shit on divorce, Bob. I schedule it all. When I'm at, at night, late at night, I'm freaking before I go to bed, and I'll schedule stuff for the next day just to keep it going. That way it's constantly showing up in your feed. And does it take time? Eh, not a lot. But you've got to be repetitive with this stuff. And to get your brand out there, if you're going to build a brand, you've got to have constant stuff going out. You don't can't put one t-shirt or one coffee mug and be like, oh, i got to sell like 100 of these. No, you got to you got to make 100 different coffee mugs in order to sell one because not everybody's going to like the one design. You're, you're going to target your market, and you're going to find out who likes what, who doesn't like what. You might remove some products. Then you're going to get a feel for who likes what of your stuff, and then you can base it off that what your next design is going to be. But there's so many platforms to make money. It's disgusting. I mean, I'm so mad that I didn't freaking push harder on my shit when I started all this. I've still got uh, YouTube is still up. I've got some some videos on that still on instagram no nah, i've got tiktok Nah, i'm on still on twitter never push, pursued deep with that so i really don't have a lot of followers and i don't have ever put any content on there i don't understand how to use it and whatnot and i don't understand like the algorithm of it i mean there's science behind all this shit but being persistent every day and putting stuff up is number one key factor that you need to do so Anyway, what else can we talk about today? I'm trying to make these about 15 to 30 minutes long, possibly, if I can, depending on what we're talking about, where it goes. And just to let you guys know, there is going to be a link I'll be putting up that you can send in, I believe, messages, I think by voice. And if you can't by voice, probably uh, text or something on my podcast. And... I think it's through Anchor you have to do it. I got to share the link. I think, yeah, it's definitely through Anchor. But I know if you go to Anchor and you pull me up from the link that I send you, it will actually show you all the platforms I'm on, whether it's Apple, uh, Spotify. Uh, I had somebody listen to me on Spotify last week to the grocery store thing, and they said it was pretty funny. I was actually kind of shocked they reached out and, like, individually got in contact with me to tell me about it. Um, If I sound funny and, like, fading in and out, sorry, I'm, like, twisting in my chair and keep moving away from the microphone. This is a new microphone that I got, and it's, uh, you got to be close to it, and I'm listening to myself in live feed at the same time, so it's kind of, like, I'm loud at one second, and then I'm kind of far away at the next, and I can't see the microphone because it's right in front of me. It's a little tiny thing, you know, it's like the ones the news anchors wear, it's not the dang big thing hanging in front of you like you see in a radio station my son's got one of them but i can't use it with this little mixer thing that i've got which i can play and make funny noises (laughs) that wasn't really that funny right so there you go you got hold on oh no that one's stupid there's my neighbor's dog no joke uh what else do we got we got this one yeah, that's probably the most sounds I'll get from people when they listen to this. <laughs> but uh, I've got an intro set up. That's pre-recorded. And then I've got What's the Daily Daily. That's pre-recorded. That's going to be at the beginning of every one. Well, that means just kind of what's the deal? What's going on? What's new? What's a scoop? Giving away my age, huh? What, what do they say today? What's up, yo? I don't know. I don't give a shit. But uh, there's a way I can play some music in between talking 
And if I put ads in there, I've got to space it out or whatever. So I don't know. I'm going to look into that. I don't know if you guys want to listen to music. If you do, please put a comment. Like, you'd like to listen to 90s hip-hop or you'd like to listen to, you know, find some, old, you know, new country cool song or an older country song or just kind of what you'd like to listen to. I wanted to throw up a uh, Tesla love song in this episode if I was going to, but I don't think I'm going to. I could, but I'd have to go. No, I wouldn't have to talk much after it, but that's a five-minute song. I mean, and I, my fear of doing that is I'm either going to keep you here to listen or you're going to be like, nope, don't want to listen to music. I want to, you know, that's not what you're here for. So you guys got to fill me in. I mean, I'm just, this is all just testing away and I'm going to keep at it. I mean, I enjoy this, as you can tell. My ass doesn't even shut up. All my friends even agree with me. So, well, I'm not going to say they agree with me. They tell me <laughs> I should agree with them. But uh, I'm writing stuff down in a notebook for podcasts. I got ideas for all kinds of stuff. I got uh, I got some stuff written down for making YouTube videos. I got a YouTube video I'm going to make about people driving on the highway. I'm not going to give any details because once you hear the name of it, you're, you're going to so get it, like understand it and agree with it. I just got to draw some shit on my whiteboard and just come up with how I'm, I'm I'm not scripting really anything to be honest I just write jot down ideas like uh here's an, another podcast I'm going to be talking about this might be next I don't know um I think it should be let's see all right here I'll give you guys a rundown it's we're, we're far enough into this one um the ideas I've got are and this is these are going to be ones that you guys have to interact like I definitely need you guys to interact and like whether I do it live on Facebook and record it at the same time on here, I got to figure out how to do that because I'm using a program on my computer. So I don't know if I can record on this at the same time as I could on a Facebook live feed unless I do something else, which is it really won't be live in all honesty. It'll look live and I'll be able to answer to you in what your end of the live video. So actually, I might actually do that. That might be a cool idea. But some of the ideas I've got, like the next podcast, and I think a lot of people should or could relate to this. We've all we've all done this, I would imagine. Uh, date somebody older. I mean, I, I've, we've all done it probably within a few years of our age. But I think everybody, men and women, when you're younger, should date someone 10 to 15 years older than you. And I'm talking when you're... Oh, I'm going to say mid to late 20s, you should date someone 10 to 15 years older than you. Just once. And your whole aspect and outlook on dating will be so much different if you're not, like, tied down with somebody or married or whatnot. And and it's we'll talk about all that in the podcast. There's a lot to go with that. Um, another thing I might talk about in another podcast is all this OnlyFans shit. I am freaking hearing and seeing about this all over the place. I cannot get over what these women, from what I hear, I have never gone on there, watched, or done whatever to do you got to do to see any of it. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's sad. I think it's like back to the dating thing. Like if you're out there shaking your shit, getting paid for it, but you're looking for a guy, and I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. So... But that would be another podcast, that that thing. And, and the podcast to go with that would possibly be the uh, the whole swingers ordeal and the, the polynormous stuff where... And I had a woman reach out to me a while ago. It was probably... Was I... I don't remember if I was living in my house or my apartment, but it was definitely while I was down here in North Carolina. She lived two or three hours away. She was married. Her, they had a son. He was in high school. And he was in a band, I believe. I think he played drums or... Yeah, I think he was in the band. Drums played... Ba- drum in the band. Drums in the band. And they would travel across the state because he'd go, I guess, with competition. And I was, she's like, where do you live? And I was like, I'm in Raleigh. And she's like, oh, well, we're over there usually once or twice a month. And I was like, what do you mean we? And she's like, well, I'm married. You know, he knows it's open. He has a girlfriend and she lives in Raleigh. And I was like, where do you stay when you're in Raleigh? She's like, well, I get in a par- uh, hotel, and he goes and stays with her in her apartment. And I was like, holy shit. Like, how do you explain to your kid? Yeah, I love your mom, and I'm going to go screw this lady for the weekend. Well, I just, I don't know. 
whole nother podcast again. Um, and we, we could talk about uh, other things to go with this is, you know, staying single, fail dates, you know, dates you went on that failed, or, you know, if you've been through so much shit, you're afraid to trust again, or if you can't trust again. And I just read something. I'm going to read it right now. I just, I Googled it before we got on here. And I asked, what is the divorce rate in the U.S. in 2020? And this is from the CDC website. I put divorce rate 2020, and what came up was divorce rate 2.9 per 1,000 population, 45 reporting states, and D.C. Then under it, it's got, and this is from a lawyer website, it says wf.lawyers.com, do 50% of marriages end in divorce, and it says almost 50% of all marriages in the U.S. will end in divorce or separation. Uh, researchers estimate that's 41% of all first marriages end in divorce. Well, I'm 41%. I've been told there's a 70 to 80% divorce rate. So things must have changed. And this said somewhere, where did I see it? There it is, right there. It's at news.virginia.edu. Q&A professor sets the record straight on 2020 divorce rate. When it comes to divorce in 2020, don't believe everything you read. Okay, so should I believe this? Um, that was from my mouth, not the website. This is from the website. Headlines in newspapers across America implying that the pandemic oh wait a minute hold on there was another one that said even despite the pandemic they oh, here it is divorce rates oh wait here's another one oh there's the new york post let's who knows if we should believe this or not um let me read this quick divorce rates have spiked in the u.s during the coronavirus pandemic as couples been stuck at homes for months this probably is true and makes the most sense and i said this when we got stuck together in ha- when we were told to stay home i said watch all the guys who got their little sugar mamas on the side and all the women cheating on their hubbies, it's you're either going to find out or you're going to go nuts because you can't meet up with them. So, I mean, if you're on top of each other all day and you're watching each other on your phones and your social media, I mean, how many divorce, how many people were caught cheating and got divorced? So, and there was actually something I just heard on the radio the other day. A woman woke up early and her husband was still sleeping in bed and she saw a box and it was jewelry, a shape of a jewelry box, and she unwrapped it just to look and she was going to rewrap it because she knew where the wrapping paper was and it said that it was a piece of jewelry and it was to someone named like Deborah and she's like and my name's not Deborah and she's she's got divorced from that she found out he was cheating so divorce rates have spiked coronavirus pandemic is stuck at home for months a number of people looking for divorces was 34 percent higher from March through June compared to 2019 according to new data collected this is funny the combination of stress, unemployment, financial strain, death of loved ones, illness, homeschooling, children, mental illness has put more significant strain on relationships. That's understandable. The data showed 31% of the couples admitted lockdown has called irreparable damage to their relationships. Impa- ir- irreparable, I'm sorry. Interest in separation during quarantine peaked on April 13th, just about 15 to 20 days into the vast majority of states began lockdowns. You think? 15, 20 days, can't go see your other lover? Yeah, I guarantee half these people were freaking screwing around on their spouse. Disgusting pigs. They also found newlyweds took the hardest hit. In fact, 20% of couples who sought divorce who were married within the past five years or less compared to just 11% in 2019, doubling the rate. Ooh-wee. This is a whole other podcast right here, this article. My God, no, it's not much longer. Hold on. Uh, This indicates a recently married couple is less equipped to deal with the stressors of COVID-19 than mature couples, said the group, which is understandable. A lot of people get married in their early, mid-20s. I was married in my early 20s, and that's today's day and age. I wouldn't suggest anybody get married before they're 30. I mean, you just go through so much between 20 and 30. Upstairs and your your brain and your responsibilities and jobs. I mean, you don't really settle into life until you're like 30 between 20 and 30 you're just like taking chances and learning and starting uh the number of life insurance policies and paths required in divorce settlements sort as well go figure it's all about the money it is possible divorce rates will continue to rise as economic financial social institutional and psychological turmoil of covid19 virus unfolds concluded legal templates no shit sherlock well anyway i think that's going to sum it up for today i can definitely find some good content for the next one but uh yeah just the whole dating i mean i think we could talk about this shit forever i could i mean i've been single for a while i'm I'm, uh, I'm not gonna i don't know we'll we'll get into that as it goes i'm just gonna keep my mouth shut about my situation right now but 
I like my situation. I'm happy with it. I'm doing my thing. Got my job. Got my business. Got uh, a lot of things going on in the making. It's, it's been a long process this past year with this pandemic and trying to adapt to new business direction with all that's going on to find new ways to keep busy. But uh, I've got some things going on in my house that I want to get situated and redone and find the time to do it. But I hope you all are having a splendid, oh, prior to Christmas time. I don't know if I'm going to start putting dates or times on these podcasts. I'm just going to name them for now. So we'll see as far maybe we'll just, I'll, I'll number them eventually, maybe. I don't know. I just, I think the name of them's funny. I don't, don't name numbering them to me is kind of pointless because they're already going to be on Anchor website in a list like accordingly to when it was recorded. But nah, maybe maybe I'll write it down for now and then later on maybe I'll add it to the podcast. I'll put the date or the time or whatever. And then I could record freaking five minutes today, five minutes tomorrow, ten minutes the next. I could take a whole week to make a podcast and just blotch it all together, and none of y'all know. So. But this one's all one straight shot, believe it or not. I didn't think I'd be able to go for 20, I'm going on 26 minutes. So, I don't know. we got to come up with a closing, too. Maybe we'll work on that for the next one. I don't know. Let's see. You, got, I'm going to put this up on Facebook. I'm going to see how it's going to link. Maybe I'll put it in the comments. i, I got to figure all this out, too, on how to do all this so you guys start to see it. I know Facebook's all freaking screwed up because I always put memes because I only put memes if I don't if this isn't a meme it's not going to be seen by that many people because of the damn algorithm but I'm going to keep it it'll be on podcast it'll be on the other stuff I'll try and put it up somehow on uh, I'll screenshot something and see if I can actually I think I'm going to check right now I think on my Instagram I have my link tree status or my link tree no I don't oh wait a minute I got to figure this out Oh, I do, I do, I do. I've got my Linktree link on my Instagram. If you go to my website and you go to the bottom right and you see social media links, it will be my Linktree as well. And you'll see I got uh, TikTok, which I believe work, it works. Podcast, it works. Facebook, I think, works. The website link works. Etsy works, but there ain't shit on there right now. I'm I'm waiting until after Christmas. I don't even want to be bothered with any Christmas orders on there. I did very well two years ago on there, and it's just it's too close to Christmas and with all the shipping bullshit. YouTube link works. Uh, and like I said, we're going to start doing stuff for YouTube. I actually made a makeshift green screen for my son, and I might use that. I don't know. Instagram, I believe, works. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, Instagram works. Uh, oops. Let me go back to the website. I, I, like, go to another browser all the time to, like, test this stuff. Um, there was one of them that I was having a problem with. It might be... Let me see. Uh, this might have been Snapchat. Did that work or no? Let me see here. Uh, well, Snapchat came up. Yep, it works on that. Twitter, YouTube trying to think there was no facebook works you gotta log in obviously podcast i think was the one um nope it pulls up it brings you to anchor and there it is when you look under anchor you can see it's got apple podcast breaker i've never heard of breaker it's got google podcasts pocket casts i've never heard of that one either radio public don't click on that one please because i've already put that i'm graphic content so if that is an fm based app and rules it's not going to be on there if they hear me cursing i would imagine i have no idea i'll i'll screw around and test with these all later and then see there's no way for me to do a live feed i've already tried that i can copy the rss which on technical ends is the rss is the feed for you guys just click and listen oh there it is when you go to the podcast you can click it's on spotify you can message me so i just clicked it so uh, allow it to use my microphone. Don't allow. All right, so you can leave me a message, a voice message. That's cool. And if you guys want to uh, email me, it's divorcedbob at gmail. Leave your name and number if you want me to call you to be on the show. I would love to have some of you guys to talk to. I would prefer females to and be open. Please don't uh, don't be shy. Don't don't be afraid to talk about anything. If you are, I'm not the podcast you want to be on because I could ask all kinds of questions. <laughs> 
Maybe we'll have a truth or dare one day in a, a Zoom call over the podcast. That would be funny. That's definitely an idea. So anyway, it's been about 30 minutes, guys. I'm not going to sit here and gibber gabber and talk about the time in the call and all this. I'm going to try and, like I said, try and keep these 30 minutes a pop. That's probably good for you guys. I hope you listen at work. I hope I'm the talk at the freaking coffee machine or the water cooler, whatever, at work in the bathroom or you're giggling or you want to shoot your friend over you can copy the link and shoot it over your friends in a text message i would greatly appreciate you guys sharing this shit um i mean and hopefully i'll get you through your work days i mean 30 minutes if you get bothered throughout the day and you can keep one of your butt in you could probably break me up into an, an hour or two of your day listening to me um i'll try and hopefully have fun of your shit hopefully try and have a joke a day that's actually something I should write down. We need a joke a day. So I've got one that I think is hilarious. I don't care who you are and don't ridicule me for it. But there was somebody, I said something one day and he turned around and he said, you have more excuses than a pregnant nun. And anybody and everybody I have told that joke to has never heard it before and they don't care who they are, they laugh. So anyway, so a joke a day. I'm writing this down in my book. A joke, a joke, a day. If I get any ideas off of any of this for t-shirts and all that, I'm going to be throwing them up on Facebook with links, whatnot. I'm just going to keep expanding whatnot. And if you guys like it and want it, just go on the website, click it. You don't have to email me, message me, nothing. Just go straight on there. I'm setting that up so that you just click on it and buy it, and then you'll get a notification or an email or something from me directly somehow some way that it's shipped i don't know if i'm going to be giving shipping information out yet because with all that's going on it could take a day to get out it could take three days who knows i mean i had something that was supposed to be here one day and it didn't come here for like two or three more days so i can just hope for the best that's all but i will let you guys know if you do order anything whatnot but there's definitely going to be some funny shit coming out with this this has been my overall goal between this and youtube I don't know why I never pursued it and didn't do it, but I'm going to make time to do it from here forward. But for now, my closing is going to be just me. I thank you for your listening. If you did, uh, enjoy your week or day or whatever until I hear you again or you hear me again. Uh -huh. And I will post it on Facebook next time we're going to do another one or the next episode. You all take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening. Please share me with your friends. Send the link. Go to Spotify. See all the different platforms we can be listened to on. Uh, send them the YouTube link. Whatever you got to do. I greatly appreciate it.